Hello. In our parallel resistance project, we determined the equivalent resistance of a set of resistors which are placed in parallel. As with series resistances, this fact can make analysis of a circuit which contains parallel resistances considerably easier. We can replace the parallel resistances with a single equivalent resistor, conceptually at least, and analyze the simplified circuit. In this video, we'll introduce yet another simplification we can make if we have parallel resistors in a circuit. This simplification is called the current divider formula. This formula allows us to easily find the current through any individual resistor in a parallel combination if we know the total current going into the parallel combination of resistors. Before we determine our current divider formula, let's quickly review the results of our parallel resistance project. In that project, we saw that a parallel combination of two resistors has an equivalent resistance, which is simply the product of the individual resistors divided by the sum of the individual resistors. Please keep in mind that we're not necessarily changing our physical circuit. We're making a conceptual change which simplifies the mathematical analysis of the circuit. Now let's use the results of that previous slide to analyze our simplified circuit to determine the voltage across the two parallel resistors in terms of the current through them. Ohm's law tells us that the voltage across the resistors is the current times the equivalent resistance. If we substitute our previous equation for the equivalent resistance into this formula, the voltage across the original circuit is the current I times the product of the two resistors divided by the sum of the two resistors. Now let's see what we can find out about the individual currents, I1 and I2, in our original circuit. As we saw before, the voltage across the two resistors is given by this equation. In order to determine the currents I1, we can use Ohm's law to say I1 is V over R1. If I substitute this for V, this becomes I over R1 times R1 R2 over R1 plus R2. The R1s now cancel, and the current I1 is equal to the total current I times R2 over R1 plus R2. If we repeat this same process for the current I2, we would find that I2 is the total current I times R1 over R1 plus R2. These are our current divider relationships. They basically both say that the current through a resistor is equal to the total current times the other resistance divided by the sum of the two resistances. In summary, the current divider formula tells us that the total current through a set of parallel resistors is divided among the individual resistors. So if we have a pair of resistors in which we know the total current I, we can very easily determine the currents I1 and I2 in the individual resistors. For example, the current I1 through resistor R1 is the current I times the ratio of the resistor R2 to the sum of the two resistances. The current I2, similarly, is the total current I times the ratio of the resistor R1 to the sum of the two resistances. So, for the case of two, and only two parallel resistors, we can find the current through one of the resistors by multiplying the total current times the other resistance and dividing the result by the sum of the two resistances. Finally, before we do some examples of how to use our current divider formula, let's take a look at the general current divider formula. Suppose we have n resistors in parallel, R1, R2, and so on, up to R sub n. The current in the kth resistor I sub k is simply equal to the total current into the combination multiplied by the inverse of the resistance R sub k and divided by the sum of the inverses of all the resistances in the parallel combination. Now if n is greater than 2, however, we can't simplify this to the form we used previously, unfortunately. In our first example, we want to find the current I through this 6 ohm resistor. Now, these three resistors are all in parallel. If we do KVL around any of these loops, they all share the same voltage difference. We also know that 2 amps is the total current going into this parallel combination. We can use our previous current divider formula for three resistors. So the current I is going to be the total current, 2 amps, times the inverse of this resistance, 1 over 6 ohms, 
divided by the inverses of the sum of all the resistors. 1 over 2 ohms plus 1 over 3 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms. This simplifies to 1 over 1 ohm, so this becomes 2 amps times 1 over 6, which is 1 third of an amp. In this example, we're going to try to find the resistance R, which makes the current through the resistor 2 milliamps. Now we know the total current going into a pair of parallel resistors. We can use our simple current divider formula to find the current I. So I, which is supposed to be 2 milliamps, is equal to the total current, 6 milliamps, times the other resistance, 2 kilo ohms, over the sum of the two resistances, R plus 2 kilo ohms. I can cancel out the units of milliamps. Now if I multiply through by this denominator, I get 2 times R plus 2 kilo ohms is equal to 6 times 2 or 12 kilo ohms. Dividing through by 2, R plus 2 kilo ohms is equal to 6 kilo ohms. So R is equal to 4 kilo ohms.